Hey everybody, I'm Jesse Martineau. Welcome to the very first episode of The Community Compass. I'm a photographer and filmmaker, but more importantly, I look at myself as someone that loves to tell stories. Not just stories I make up, but stories of real people. To me, we've gotten sick of products and ideas being sold and forced upon us. I believe that it's time for people to tell stories. And if we can make a connection with a story with another human being, we're more likely to get on board with what they're doing. My role here is to tell those stories. And over the coming weeks and months, maybe years, I'm gonna tell as many of those stories as I can. The idea being is that you would act, that you would connect with one of these stories that we tell and do something with it. See, I love our community, I love this whole area. It's beautiful, but I think we can go even deeper. I believe that if people rally around, come together, get behind one another's stories and start to act, real change can start to take place. What does it look like? I don't know. <laughs> That might be something that is really hard to imagine. So I'm not gonna try to build that in one day. All I'm gonna do is start telling you stories. See what changes. I'm pretty sure if you listen, open your heart, things are gonna change. Today, the story I'm gonna tell is from someone in Spruce Grove. Her name's Katie Joliker and she owns a yoga studio. The interesting thing, it turned into a lot more than that. Stay tuned to the end of this because I have a few extra words that I think are really gonna help you today. Here we go. Okay, so I'm here at Be Free Yoga. I'm gonna meet up with the business owner, Katie Jolliker, and she's got a, an amazing story. It's more than just a yoga studio here. I really want you to hear this today because I think it's actually gonna help a lot of people maybe get through some stuff that you're questioning in your life. Let's go. Katie, how you doing? Oh, good, how are you? Excellent. <laughs> Here's Katie, right there. This is your studio. Yeah, it is, welcome. Well, it's Be Free Yoga Studio in Spruce Grove, Alberta. We're gonna talk about some important things today. Here we go. Hi, my name is Katie Jolliker. I'm the founder of Be Free Yoga and the Be Free Project. So the project, we provide free yoga classes and meditation classes to our communities. Yeah, I don't know, when I started the studio, like I wasn't planning on getting into any specific one thing or the other. I just wanted to have an inclusive space where everybody can feel comfortable to come and practice yoga because I've been practicing obviously for a while and teaching for a while and know the benefits that it brings to, to anybody's life. A year and a half ago, I was in my first year of business with the studio, and I started to feel like almost like this like numbness or dullness, a little bit of an emptiness. I felt like I should have been feeling more fulfilled. You have this expectation like you're living your dream and like I'm following what I'm wanting to do. I mean, I love teaching yoga and I love showing up for people in this capacity and I would spend my mornings lying in bed and I wouldn't get up until like the absolute last second and it was like everything I could do to like get out of bed and this went on for quite a while and it was confusing when you start to feel this way it's, I don't know especially when you're doing things that you used to love doing and it's confusing it's like why why is this feeling the same way or it's not feeling how I think it should and then I started to feel like I was broken and that was like a really big thing for me for a long time is that I thought I was a broken human being um, and then that's when I started to think about suicide. Because if I'm broken, um, nobody wants me. And I'm just burdening everybody around me. Um, everybody's life would be so much better if I wasn't here. Um, and so I started having these thoughts.
I think the only reason I actually went to get help is because the person I went to see had talked openly about her depression. And I was like, oh, I wonder if that's, maybe I'm having the same kind of thing or going through a similar experience. And so then that's because she spoke out about it, I was able to feel okay going to her and saying like, hey, this is how I'm feeling. I don't know, I think that one of the biggest things when you're moving through it is like sometimes you just need somebody to not judge you. Like that's like the biggest thing, you have so much shame. And so, I mean, I'm not a therapist, I'm not, you know, anything beyond that besides a yoga teacher, but I'm always, I always love listening and I have a ton of resources that I can give people. If you start to feel this way and these feelings are happening in your body or your, these thoughts are happening in your mind, um, is to realize you're not alone is the first thing. You feel so isolated and alone in this, um, but you're not, and that it is okay to reach for help because that is actually the most courageous thing you can do. It is safe to reach out. If I hadn't reached out, I don't know if I would be sitting here. To be honest, I don't know if I would have made it through. So I'm grateful that I found some courage somewhere to reach out to somebody that I trusted. Giving fear classes is a way that I could give back to the community. That's always something that's been really important to me. Um, and I can give my time. I don't have really much else to give sometimes, but I can always make time for people. But I mean, after going through my journey, um, I almost felt like, not that I didn't have a choice, like obviously you always have a choice, but I had an opportunity for my work to be a little deeper and to connect on a deeper level. And I mean, I wouldn't have reached for help if someone that I respected hadn't had spoke about their journey. So maybe if I can speak about my journey, that even if that helps one person just reach for help, that is worth it. If you're interested in getting involved in the Be Free Project or learning more about it, we have a website, it's befreeproject.ca. Um, basically, the best way to kind of help us out right now is um, by donating. That's how we're able to get more teachers and to get more classes going. We also run events a couple of times a year and we always need volunteers for those events if giving time is more what you're able to do. So you can always check it out on the website. The area of mental health is something that is very real. I myself have struggled deeply with depression. In fact, like Katie, I too wonder if I didn't get help, if I would be sitting here today. From that, you can actually have something amazing. Where it looked like there was death, there's amazing life. But today I wanna to point at something else, which is, what's it like to give? You heard Katie say that because of this situation she went through, she decided, I better start to give. And if I can give to enough people, maybe I'll be able to help one of them. The reason I'm really doing these videos is to teach us to give. Because a community that is going to be empowered, a community that is going to be united, a community that is gonna to come together when someone's in need, is a community that needs to learn how to give. If we can do that, we will see real change. Mark my words, I know this is the first video that we've done with the Community Compass and there's gonna be more coming very soon. I'd love it if you would go to the Facebook page right here and like it. Then, like this video and share this video on whatever platform you're on because this message needs to get out. It's not just for the community that we live in here, it's for everybody and it's a message that needs to spread. I'm Jesse Martineau, I will see you very soon.